On today's episode, I'm going to show you my favorite fuzz pedals that have one knob because any fuzz pedal with more than one knob sucks. Wow. First up on this one knob fuzz extravaganza is a pedal called the MK2 Fuzz from Metaverse Electronics. I've shown some Metaverse over the years. I'm a fan of the weirdness. My personal favorite might be the Air Trash, just for its name alone. There's things that Metaverse does that are not conventional, like the drone tone. I'm not gonna explain it, just check it out. And then, you know, hey, let's build a sequencer. Let's just build like a thing that doesn't do anything you think you need, but you actually need. So do that kind of thing. So he does this. This is uh, a bunch of gain stages stacked and you have one knob and a toggle and this toggle kind of switches between different settings. One's a little more gated than the other and it also, there's a, there's a part of it that has more mid. So I'm gonna set it on that and I'm just gonna turn the knob up to where I want it and then we're gonna play. This has one knob. This is a one knob fuzz show. So here's the first jam using one knob. <laughs> was spicy kind of like you're eating spicy food on a harley davidson riding through the desert on your way to alaska and it costs 99 bucks so that experience that's pretty cheap as someone who travels it costs way more than 99 dollars to get on a motorcycle go across the desert on your way to alaska so buy the pedal and move on next up is the mythos golden fleece this is the old version and they updated the graphics to this version this is kind of a wild uh scary looking pedal but like in the best way and then this is like beautiful and classy. I think I prefer this one. Um, big fan of this circuit. It's based off of something that, you know, the name's a little tricky. I think the guy's name was Alan Lee or Yee. And it was this crazy fuzz circuit called the Fuzzy Nuts. I'm not making that up. The circuit's <laughs> called Fuzzy Nuts. And this, <laughs> it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't change the past. This is a family show. I it's can't change is. the present and I can't change the future when it comes to this Allen Yi fuzzy nut pedal. <laughs> <laughs> but Zach took it. It's amazing. It, he did his thing to it. It's like a fuzz face without any of the, the shortcomings. So 139 but butts. <laughs> We're gonna jam. 139 bucks. You can have this pedal. We need to move on. Jam quickly. Quickly jam. <laughs> That's a good jam. And again, one knob and uh, kind of a dinosaur junior meets not a surf thing. Again, one knob. If you have any pedals with more than one knob, you're just fooling yourself and everyone around you and you need to grow up. The year is 1978 and there was a one knob fuzz. 
It was the Big Muff, but it wasn't in this case. This is a 1978 op-amp Big Muff. Very coveted, very known for Billy Corgan Smashing Pumpkins. They even have a reissue of that pedal in a cute, tiny little case that's orange. The same year, there was the Little Big Muff. This is an op-amp Big Muff with a fixed fuzz and a fixed tone control, and it has one knob, because this is too many knobs. I can't think, I can't create, I can't even be myself when there's more than one knob. So throw this away and play this one. And these go for like $9. And I swear, if you start hating on me saying, oh, look at me, I'm so sad. It's like, I never wanted it, but now it's expensive. Oh. They've been around since 1978 and you never cared. It has one knob and now you care and it's not my fault. I refuse to be a victim of your blame. The two knob fuzz face was invented fantastic circuit and it's awesome But you know what it has two knobs. I don't have time for that. I don't care. I don't have the energy So what you do with the two knobs you max out the fuzz am I right anybody? You yeah. just you always max it out because if you move it anywhere else It sounds like hot trash unless you want to sound like hot trash Which in some cases sounds good and then you have volume and you know on a stock fuzz face It's always quiet. So you end up turning that up. So what happens here? You have a pedal with two knobs and you turn them up, which means you're not using the knobs. Well, Jamie Stillman at Earthquaker said, I've had enough of this nonsense. I'm removing the knobs and I'm putting the bias for the Q2 transistor on a big knob, one knob, to rule them all, the eruptor. How much is this again? 149. 149 for no knobs, but then one knob added to the no knobs means this is affordable. This is not, this is like $7,000 or something. It's like three, much cheaper. Less knobs, cheaper. That's knob sense. <laughs> If surf was metal and metal was surf, we just did that genre. So we've been bringing you surf metal since about a minute and 45 seconds ago. Let's move on. You're welcome. There is a man named Dick Denny and he invented the AC30, the AC15, the Vox 816, and all kinds of amazing things that most people don't realize came from him. He was a genius and he created a really important and wonderful fuzz. And uh, it's this. This is basically popularized in the early 70s. It is the Color Sound Fuzz Box. This is a reissue. It has one knob and the case is bigger. Henceforth, you know, use their like 600 bucks. So there's some kind of math here where less knobs is less money, but more case adds money back on. I'm not good at economics. I don't understand math, but I'm on to something here. And we're gonna jam this and we're gonna discover, does the case validate the price and does the knob unvalidate the price that the case caused? And we'll decide in this jam, because we have to get to the bottom of this.
It's moments like these I like to remind you and myself that they could have played whatever that was back in the early 70s, but they didn't. So what could you play now that you're not playing? Let's go to the next. Yeah. It's deep. It is deep. We're all not doing enough. Woo. We're just sitting around doing the same old thing when inside of us is a fuzz box that's willing to go far into the future and do something new. But wow. we, don't, we don't want to do anything new. Look at you. You're still watching the show doing the same old thing. I'm sad. We're never going to change the world. For $125, you can buy what I consider a pedal from one of the greatest brands to break the guitar with. It is Frost Giant Electronics. Really cool company. I've been digging all their stuff. And this is called the Massif. It is the Savage Wave Destroyer. And it is a very modified version of this. So we're furthering the chain that Dick Denny created with the fuzz box into this. It is tuned for, you know, lower tunings, baritones, things like that. But I'm gonna play the same old stuff I play and just give you a taste of how, I, what I do. Does, that doesn't work because you hear that all the time. I feel like I'm failing the audience. You're doing great. It's fine. I'll just play what I normally try to play. Um, but we'll we'll try to spice it up with like a weird time signature maybe. I don't know. It's a good pedal though. It has one knob. It's 125, so the knob math fixed itself. You're out there somewhere, you're playing slide guitar, but you know what? I just played better slide guitar than you'll ever play, and the tone that I got from this with my slide is better than anything you'll ever dream of. You need to give up guitar, sell them all, and break all your slides. Throw them out in the backyard and bury them, because you just got burned. That was the biggest thing Hey, hey, ever. hey! Sick burn! Next up is a super cool pedal. This is from Weird Noise. It's called the Fuzzit, and it again is from this topology. Um, what I love about this is it has this toggle, and when you flip it over, the germanium fuzz box that's kind of in there, the color sound fuzz, that is cascaded into a silicon, another fuzz, a silicon, and so you have this just more overwhelming tone, you know, $150 here. If you get rid of knobs, you get rid of money. This is simple stuff I'm learning. We're learning together. That's for all of you who love country music. <laughs> this has been really fun, but you know I'm troubled. Um, I'm noticing like a serious rise in anxiety because one knob's too many knobs for me today. I normally play pedals with a few knobs, 
And then like the state of life I'm in. I turned 40 last week. I need less knobs. And every time I play a one knob pedal today, <laughs> it's stressing me out. And so I need rid of all the knobs. The knobs have to go. I'm considering deleting this episode. So you know, while we were jamming, I picked up this third man bumble buzz from Union Tube and Transistor. It has no knobs because it comes from the original no knob single treadle fuzz, the K fuzz. It's crazy and it has no knobs and I have less stress immediately. Can you feel it through the screen? I'm less stressed. Oh, and it's uh, it's $325, so less knobs, less money. Bigger case, more money. No knobs, more money, but not as much money as the bigger case. We're working this out. There's a spreadsheet. You got the spreadsheet going, Addison? Yep. All right, let's jam. taking away the knobs. What we need is less knobs and just play the guitar more. Just rip all the knobs off every pedal. If you're watching this, rip all your knobs off. Throw them in the trash, break your pedals, and go buy this. This is the ultimate one knob pedal because it has no knobs. Let's go to record time. Today's record time is brought to you by 2003's Elephant by the White Stripes. I think it fits. It's according to the jam that you just heard last. My favorite track I think is ball and biscuit and you will hear that octave effect like I just used uh, on the song girl you have no faith in medicine and no you hear it on ball and biscuit it's one of the two it doesn't matter I think it's ball and biscuit and it's all over this the high octave the fuzz and this of course has seven nation armies so if you've ever been to any American sporting event you've heard it 12 times that night um, it's a great record if you are familiar with it drop your favorite song in the comments if you are not familiar with this you should be as a guitar player and especially if you love fuzz uh, if you have a favorite white stripes record drop that down there as well yeah so that's record time thanks so much for watching this episode i hope you liked it if you did hit like subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get notifications of future episodes in the comments below let me know your favorite jam that we did and also let me know the process that you went through to throw away every pedal you have that has more than one knob because we all know it's time to do that. We have to face our fears and become adults. So in the comments, tell me how that went. Also, if you like these jams, you can jam along with us at Band Lab. There's a link in the description. I've had a great day. I feel like I've been freed from the tyranny of multiple knobs. I'll see you.